I think Pankaj urges us that the central uh, event of the 20th century is really the awakening of the political area of Asia. Alagani and the anti child both seemed very representative of certain political tendencies, uh, more than one uh, in their lives. They, they embodied several uh, political ideas and ideologies. Uh, this book is, is part biography, it's part historical essay, uh, and it constantly reminds us that uh, the history of the world is, is much more than just the history of the West. Suddenly this world of uh, Asia began to emerge as I read uh, somewhat more widely, more systematically than before. And you see how these people in the late 19th century, early 20th century, were formulating this response to this very aggressive presence in the life which was Western Indian. The war with which this book begins uh, in 1905 was a war it fought with Russia. And it defeated Russia in that war comprehensively, which allowed, which, which as, as uh, Tokun described, which spread around the world the news of this uh, victory of Japan and enthused a whole range of people again, some like Gandhi, who was a lawyer in South Africa at that point, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, who was a schoolboy traveling on his train uh, to uh, his, his public school in England. I don't know, to be honest. I, um, I mean, I sort of follow my instincts from book to book, and I think there are certain shared themes if, I, if I'm asked to look, uh, you know, starting with a travel book and looking at the first years of economic liberalization in this country, looking at the way uh, that had created a new kind of politics in small towns across India. Um, I think all of those experiences have kind of you know, been pushing me in certain directions and making me think along certain lines. Um, and maybe 20 years from now, I'll try and see a pattern there.